was gone. A breeze ruffled the neat hedges of Privet Drive, which lay silent and tidy under the inky sky. The very last place you would expect astonishing things to happen. Harry Potter rolled over inside his blankets without waking up. One small hand closed on the letter beside him, and he slept on, not knowing he was special, not knowing he was famous, not knowing he would be woken in a few hours' time by Mrs. Dursley's scream as she opened the front door to put out the milk bottles, nor that he would spend the next few weeks being prodded and pinched by his cousin Dudley. He couldn't know that at this very moment, people meeting in secret all over the country were holding up their glasses and saying in hushed voices, to Harry Potter, the boy who lived. Chapter Two, The Vanishing Glass. Nearly 10 years had passed since the Dursleys had woken up to find their nephew on the front step. But Privet Drive had hardly changed at all. The sun rose on the same tidy front gardens and lit up the brass number four on the Dursleys' front door. It crept into their living room, which was almost exactly the same as it had been on the night when Mr. Dursley had seen that fateful news report about the owls. Only the photographs on the mantelpiece really showed how much time had passed. Ten years ago, there had been lots of pictures of what looked like a large pink beach ball wearing different colored bonnets. But Dudley Dursley was no longer a baby. And now the photograph showed a large blonde boy riding his first bicycle on a carousel at the fair, playing a computer game with his father, being hugged and kissed by his mother. The room held no sign at all that another boy lived in the house too. Yet Harry Potter was still there, asleep at the moment, but not for long. His aunt Petulia was awake, and it was her shrill voice that made the first noise of the day. Get up! No! Harry woke with a start. His aunt rapped on the door again. Up! She screeched. Harry heard her walking towards the kitchen, and then the sound of the frying pan being put on the stove. He rolled onto his back and tried to remember the dream he'd been having. It had been a good one. There had been a flying motorcycle in it. He had a funny feeling he'd had the same dream before. His aunt was back outside the door. Are you up yet? She demanded. Nearly. <laughs> well, get a move on. I want you to look after the bacon. And don't you dare let it burn. I want everything perfect on Daddy's birthday. Harry groaned. What did you say? His aunt snapped through the door. Nothing. Nothing. Dudley's birthday. How could he have forgotten? Harry got slowly out of bed and started looking for socks. He found a pair under his bed. How is it Harry Potter there already? Huh? Harry Potter there already? Yeah. Ten years, huh? Ten years later. Ten years later. Oh. But the stairs was full of them. Okay, and that my fingers gonna start already, so. When he was dressed, he went down the hall into the kitchen. The table was almost hidden beneath all the oh, fingers already there's the uh, tips. It looked as though Dudley had Where is he? Hang on, hang on. Look. Not to mention the second see. television and the rest no. of Wait, please, I'm so far away. Let me see them. Bike was a mystery to Harry, as Dudley was very fat. I'm still recording. No. Unless, of course, it involved punching somebody. Dudley's favorite punching bag was... You can see. Why is he doing that? Yeah. Because you don't refuse to see me. Watch. Touch. Perhaps it had something to do with living in a dark oh, cupboard. I mean, you can't really see in this dark so cupboard. Why are you he looked even smaller and skinnier yeah, they feel than he really a bit, like, was before puckered. he had to wear what old clothes oh. at Dudley's. And Dudley was about four times bigger than he was. You need to be able to just... To why? Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Now that is a beautiful shot. Look at how just pretty it looks. Look at this. Freaking love the focus on this lens. Isn't it beautiful? You too overexposed. Still, it's gorgeous. I think. It doesn't matter, it's still pretty.